हाय भिवर्स दिस इज डॉक्टर गुणामणि जेना एंड यू आर वाचिंग वीडियो विथ मी ऑन नेचर इंस्पायर्ड कंप्यूटिंग टेक्निक्स इन दिस सब्जेक्ट विल बी गोइंग फॉर वन ऑफ द एलगर दिम दैट इज फ्लावर पॉलिनेशन एलगर दिम एंड दिस इज ए सब्जेक्ट फॉर फाइनल इयर बीटे कंप्यूटर साइंस इंजीनियरिंग कैड ऑल्सो फॉर ए आई एम एल स्टूडेंट्स इवन इफ द पी जी लेवल एंड रिसर्च लेवल ऑल्सो वी यूज ऑल दिज एप्लीकेशंस ना वेलकम बैक टू आवर एलगर दिम दैट इज द फ्लावर पॉलिनेशन एलगर दिम दिस इज द आउटलाइन फॉर आवर प्रेजेंटेशन टूडे सो विल स्टडी द हिस्ट्री एंड द मेन आइडिया अबाउट दिस फ्लावर पॉलिनेशन एलगर दिम देन वी गो फॉर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ आवर फ्लावर पॉलिनेशन देन व्हाट इज द बिहेवियर ऑफ दिस एलगर दिम एंड इन डिटेल्स व्हाट इज दिस फ्लावर पॉलिनेशन एलगर दिम एंड द वेरियस एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस एलगर दिम एलॉन्ग विथ सम रेफरेंसेस so you can see the history of this flower pollination algorithm uh, it is a nature inspired population based algorithm and it is proposed by jin si yang in the year 2012 is it clear so it is around 12 to 11 to 12 years old algorithm <coughs> not that much of very old and the main objective of this flower pollination is to produce the optimal reproduction of plants by surviving the most fittest flowers in the flowering plants that is the main idea and in fact uh, this is an optimization process of plants in various species right then we see the different characteristics of this various algorithms or this specially the flower pollination algorithm Uh, there are over a quarter of a million type of flowering plants in nature and out of that 80 percentage are flowering species <coughs> and the main purpose of this flower is ultimately reproductions by the pollinations and what exactly this pollinations and how it takes place we can understand from this uh, figure or the diagram you see some insects maybe flies butterflies bees they sit on the flowers and some why some yellow color dust like things what you call the pollen they are carried out by their legs or by their trunk etc and it falls in other flowers so that is the process we call it the pollination so the main purpose is reproduction for the flowers and this flower pollination process is associated with the, the transfer of pollen by using pollinators such as insect birds birds bees etc we see the different <coughs> processes two major processes are there one is the biotic or we call it as the cross pollination process second one is the abiotic or the cell pollination process from the diagram we can clearly understand if you look at here that here is one flower here is another flower and this is the case of cross pollination the butterfly is sitting in one flower carrying the pollen with it and is putting in another flower so this process is called the pollination here also you can see the another example here in one flower small insect is sitting here so it is carrying the pollen which is falling here and there fine so this what we call this the example of biotic and cross pollination process and another process it is the abiotic and the cell pollination uh, if you minutely observe here in this diagram what i have written the cell pollination process here the pollens fall directly here and this may be possible because of the wind or it may be uh, because of some uh, waters whatever things are there now uh, let us study in details about this biotic or the cross pollination process biotic pollination it represents 90% of the flowering plants while the 10% of the pollination takes place from abiotic okay that means cross pollination is responsible for 90% and remaining 10% is from the cell pollination so in the biotic pollination or the cross pollination pollen is transferred from one flower to other flower in different plants not in the same plant by a pollinator such as insect bird bat bees etc and the biotic cross pollination 
it may occur at a long distance and they can be considered as a global pollination process clear because this pollination can take place even if for long distance also we call it as a global pollination process with pollinators performing the levis flight which already we discussed in the particle swarm optimization then we are going for the second type that is the cell pollination or the abiotic pollination process here it is a fertilization of one flower from pollen of the same flower it is just a fertilization process of one flower from pollen of the same flower of different flowers of the same plant plant is same one flower is here one flower is one flower is like that so these pollens fall and this pollination takes place or the fertilization takes place in this type of pollinations wind and diffusion in water helps pollinations of such flowering plants it can be the wind you can see through wind it is falling like this or the diffusion of water also it takes place takes like this then this abiotic and cell pollination process are considered as local pollinations the if you remember the previous topic previous chapter we uh, previous page we studied about the biotic we call it the global pollination process here this abiotic or this cell pollination we call it the local pollination now i'll be explaining the flower pollination algorithm in this algorithm process you can clearly see first of all we are declaring like the population size is equal to n and a switch probability small p and this p belongs to 0 and 1 and the maximum number of generation that is represented mgn okay so it starts here uh, with the algorithm so here for i is equal to 1 i less than equal to n so this is the for loop and here we are using uh, to generate the initial population that is xi so generate an initial population xi randomly and then we go for fitness function find the fit or evaluate the fitness function fitness function is calculated f of xi using uh, the objective function that you know okay whatever it may be so we calculate the fitness function f of xi for all the solutions in this populations and end for initialization this is the initialization started and ended here then the iteration starts t is equal to 0 and we repeat go on repeating i is equal to 1 because by start with the first iteration uh, then i less than equal to n and i plus plus so you know this n is the population size is clear then we go for and generate a random number r because while we are going for the global pollinations we use this trick this technique we generate a random number r that is uniformly distributed between 0 and 1 it may be 0.1 0.2 0.3 up to 0.90 or 1 and generate a step vector and this condition is that if r is less than p if r what is this r r is the random number we generated p is the population size here we have given it there if r is less than p that means our random number generated r is less than p then generate a step vector l so there is a formula using that we can generate and then we update this xi population xi t plus 1 which is equal to xi of t plus l into g star minus x so this is the global part okay g star then this is the if this condition if else if this condition doesn't satisfy then you choose another two that is j and k solutions among all the solutions generate a parameter epsilon epsilon belongs to 0 and 1 then here the formula is xi t plus 1 which is equal to xi of t plus epsilon of xj t minus xk t so this is the technique we are using it for the local pollination so we started with if and if started for we and for then we start another another for group here here for uh, i is equal to 1 i less than n less than equal to n i plus plus do uh, we evaluate the fitness function so evaluate the fitness function of fxi for all the solutions for every xi we find what is the fxi and uh, again use an for group for loop for if x i t plus 1 t the you know the number of iteration if x i t plus 1 less than x i t then x i t plus 1 is set to x i t plus 1 other cases it will be x i t plus 1 as the the previous one x i t so and if then we go for the ranking rank the populations and this is the solution update you have done then rank the solutions and keep the best value of the best solution g star uh, found so far in the 
populations and update t is equal to t plus 1 it is just the increment and until it is continued t t plus 1 t plus 2 like that until t is less than mgn what is the mgn is the maximum number of generation allowed mgn right and produce the optimal solution so this is the algorithm and this algorithm will be available with me any uh, students or viewers are interested just do uh, write a comment or mail so i'll be sharing this algorithm to with you then i go for a detailed explanation of this algorithm see the step number one the algorithm starts by setting the initial value of the most important parameter such as the population size n that we initialize n we initialize the value of p switch probability p and the maximum number of generations mgn so this is the step number one what i already explained in the previous algorithm then we go for the step number two then we initialize the population that is xi okay and this i is equal to 1 to n it's clear so this xi is generated randomly and then we calculate the fitness function for each solution that is ff xi we calculate and uh, it is evaluated by calculating the corresponding objective function so using this objective function so we can go for the evaluation of this fitness function fine then in the step number three the following steps are repeated until the termination conditions that is the mgn maximum number of generations like that then coming to the point number four it is not exactly step four it is the step 3.1 and 3.2 here either you go for a global pollinations or using the switch probability you go for a local so if you go for the global pollinations then we generate a random number r and r belongs to 0 to 1 so it can be it is uniformly distributed that may be 0 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 like that for each solution xi then step 3.2 if r is less than p so then p is the switch probability as you know and this is uh, the new solution is generated uh, using the levis distribution as follows xi t plus 1 which is equal to xi uh, of t plus l of xi t minus g star it is not t plus 1 it is t where this l what you are using it is a levis flight and l must be greater than 0 it is positive and calculated L is uh, L equal to this functions uh, lambda of this function gamma and sin pi L by 2 by pi and 1 by S into 1 plus S to the power 1 plus lambda and uh, this S 0 uh, lies between S and 0 minimum is 0 maximum is S ok. So, we can take S 0. Now, this functions what you told that this is a standard gamma functions or gamma of lambda whatever we say and it is distribution is valid for uh, if the step size is large for large steps that is s is greater than 0. Now the step 3.3 otherwise you go for the local pollination process here also we select another random number epsilon epsilon is in 0 and 1 as follows then we update the equation x i t plus 1 which is equal to x i over t plus epsilon x j t and x k t and this x k or x j or x i whatever we are telling these are called the pollens or the solutions from the different flowers this is not lower it is the flowers here of the same plant species of x i t or x j t whatever things are there this comes from the same species or selected from the same populations and this become a local random work clear then coming to 3.4 we evaluate each solutions x i t plus 1 and update the solutions and the populations uh, using the objective functions or objective values. Then we go for the ranking and we rank the solutions and find the current best solution which is represented as G star that is the things we find it. Then produce the best found solution so far. So this is the in general the explanations of the algorithm. Then we can go for the application of the flower pollinations there are a number of applications as i as i told you that this algorithm is the very latest and recent one maybe 10 to 11 years old and that have lot of engineering optimization problems we are using everywhere you will be using this flower pollination algorithm so np hard combinatorial optimization problem also will be using this flower pollination algorithm then when you go for the data fusion in wireless sensor network they are also will be using then nano electronic technology uh, this is based operation amplifier OPMP they are also we are using this 
flower pollination algorithm and we studied about the artificial neural networks or in general we call it the neural network for training this neural network also will be using the flower pollination algorithm then for manufacturing scheduling also will be using this ap algorithm and uh, as i told you the not lot of things are even the nor scheduling uh, problem also we can use this flower pollination algorithm right so you have a lot more applications some of the applications i put it here and here you see some of the references like SX Zhang in 2012 he published a paper flower pollination algorithm for global optimizations so this is an unconventional computation and natural computations so this is the computer science journal uh, lecture notes so here in volume and page number is given then another the animated photos what you are using it here that is taken from the source following source and i have referred this uh, ppt also uh, i think from the website also but anyway uh, i have some contribution also but uh, uh, i thank you all uh, for watching this video i hope the minimum contents you got it uh, from this ppt uh, from this presentation and, and if you do like this video please do share with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe thank you and take care of your health have a good day